looks like metal detecting weather to me. Well, winter is officially here. As you can see, I'm out doing my first snow dig. As long as the ground's thawed out, we'll be out here. Uh, I just found my first target. Yeah, nothing too exciting. First target's a valve stem. Let's see if we can find some good stuff today. Well, I'm not quite sure what that is. I don't know. Chunk of iron. Old bottle opener? I don't know. Uh, let's keep looking. Well, there's my next target. I can tell by the middle of it. That's an old hem weight. All right, let's keep looking. I found about five or six of these out here now. Let's move on. There, after cleaning out the center of it, you can tell it's a hem weight. Okay. Well, I just had a real faint 50 signal on the legend, which is usually aluminum, sometimes silver, and I just popped something cool out of the hole. I'm guessing it's an aluminum token. Let me clean it up a little bit. We'll get back to you. Well, it's cool. What we got here is a token. I think it's from Grand Rapids. That's where most of the stuff's coming from. It says, Rhymes and Beetle. 132 Michigan Street Northwest. I'm pretty sure that's Grand Rapids. I'm not sure what Rhymes and Beetle is. And there's probably a store back in the early 1900s, 41920. The other side, good for five cents trade. I like it. That's a cool find. I found a lot of tokens out here. I'll add this one to my collection. All right, let's do a little more snow digging. See what else we can find. Well, at first I just figured I had another handle to a spoon or a fork, but we got another monogrammed one. I believe that's an L. Silver plate. Thought it was silver at first, but it was rang up too low to be silver. So, but I always like finding monogram stuff. All right, let's move on. Yeah, I thought I had a coin at first, but instead, I'm not quite sure what that is. Let me clean it up a little bit, see what we got here. Well, this obviously came off of something else. I don't know if it had been a brooch or a pin. It's got quite the cool little starburst design on it. Not quite sure on that one. Looks like it's got some fancy around the edges. Huh. Interesting. All right, let's keep going. Well, my last find was this little starburst piece. And I said it looked like it came off of something. A couple feet from where I just dug it. Look at that. And guess what? It's a pin. You can see a little part of the pin left on the back. And it's missing something from the center. Well, looky here. That was probably two feet away from where I found the first target. I'm pretty sure that came off of that pin. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's that is cool. Found the rest of it. Figured out the mystery. All right, let's keep digging. See what else we can find. Now there's my next target. Little metal coaster. 
All right, let's keep going. And the hunt isn't complete without some ball jar lids. All right, let's keep going. Well, there's my next target. Another hem weight. Add it to the pile of them. Let's move on, see if we can find some coins today. I need some silver. Well, it's warmed up. A lot of the snow is melting off. Been digging a lot of ball jar lids. Got a real high squeaker here. Uh, could be another ball jar lid, but we're gonna give it a shot. See what it is. Yeah, finally. Looks like we got a coin. Huh, it's a dime. Let's see what kind we got. It's a Merc. All right. Oh, now I lost it again. Good thing I got a metal detector. There it is. Let's see what kind of year we got. I'll get back to you. All right, I'm not far from where I found my last mark out here. This is the same year, 1920. Of course, everything we find out here, I always say this, is usually 1920 or older. Cool. I said I was going to find some silver. Look at that. And I thought I was digging a ball jar lid. Cool. I'm happy. Now I can relax and uh, either finish this hunt or head on home. I'll probably hunt a little more. See if I can find some more. Well, three steps from where I found silver. Got a real small high squeaker. Uh, almost a little high for silver, might be aluminum. But we gotta dig it. Well, I called it. Big old aluminum spoon bowl. All right, let's keep going. We have another ball jar signal, but Oh, we got something cool. It's got a chain attached to it. Let me clean this up and see what we got. Well, this is pretty cool. It looks like it was hooked together at one point. It's in two pieces now. But with all the watches and everything we find out here, I got to assume this is a watch fob. This side, now this side, you can still see a little of the gold gilt on it. Not a lot. You can see it on both sides, actually. Huh. That's cool. Alright. That's why you gotta dig them ball jar signals. You never know what you're gonna pull out. Well, let's keep going. Yeah, there's the next target. Big old plated serving spoon. It's a big one. All right, let's keep going. Well, another high tone screamer. Check that out. I just found one of these the other day that had the letter J on it. Now I found one with an M on it. I'm assuming they're personalized watch fobs. That's cool. That'll make a good display piece. 
All right. Let's move on. Find some more cool stuff. Not sure what this one is. Maybe a drain stopper. Don't know. Looks like it had a chain hooked on it or something here. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, there's the next target. Big, long soda fountain spoon. Looks like silver plated. All right, let's move on. All right, I just found another cool piece. It's obviously stamped, but that's got to be an old sash buckle or a brooch. That's cool. That'll make a nice display piece when it's cleaned up. Cool. Let's keep going. Yeah, there's my next target. Some kind of a little tag. There's a few numbers and stuff on it, but can't really read what it is. All right, let's keep going. Out again. Not too bad out today. It's about 39 degrees, but it's no wind or anything. Uh, going over some ground I've already hit before. I just had a real high tone. Here's my first signal. Well, I saw this pop out and I thought, eh, piece of junk, goldie cap. Turned it over. Chinese Temple Cafe, number 12. I got to assume that was a Chinese restaurant. I'll have to do a little research, check it out. Not sure what it is. It looks like maybe it had a pin on the back at one time. But that's kind of cool for a first find. Let's see what else we can find. Yeah, there's my next target. Silver plated. Got a lot of fancy on it though. Alright, let's keep going. See what else we can find here. Well, here's one I didn't even have to dig for. Look at that. That was just under the leaves. And it's got a shank on the back. That's a little button. It's quite a fancy one too. I'm not sure, I think it had some kind of material in the back that kind of flaked away. Maybe not. Maybe I was just cleaning out gook, but that's a cool little button. I didn't even have to dig for it. All right, let's keep going here. Well, I'm in a spot where I found a uh, barber dime, I think maybe two barber dimes in the past. And I just got a real faint whisper of a high tone right in the same area. And we got a coin. Not sure what yet. Oh, I see Lincoln on it. So it's going to be an old weedy. Let me get data off it and I'll get back to you. Well, I hit it with a brush once. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's a 1918. All right, another old coin. Let's move on, see if we can find some silver. Well, I'm not sure what this target is. It has a screw on this end. Looks like it was broken off on this end. Not quite sure what that's all about. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, I got a pretty tight high tone right here. 
Dango looks like it's small, but I don't know, it's in the penny range. Let's dig it up, see what it is. Well, I just had a real high tone there. And look what popped out. Not cleaned up yet, but that is another thimble. This one looks like it has some writing on it. Crescent. Crescent something. I'm going to clean it up and get back to you. Well, it's definitely an advertising piece. It says Voigt's Crescent Flower. Seems to me I found a uh, thimble that advertised flower once before in the past. I just found one of these the other day, but didn't have any advertisement on it. All right, that's a cool find. I always like finding thimbles, especially ones with advertising. All right. Yeah, I might have another half hour to hunt, maybe. Well, we're doing something different today. We have a club hunt going on. We've got uh, this property was settled in 1850. Uh, got about 10, 15 guys out here. We have permission to hunt this property and the farm fields adjoining it. And I just found my first target. Right here next to this big tree up by the driveway. I just found an old pocket knife. Looks like it's been down there for a while. Cool find. Let's keep going, see what else we can find here. Well, it looks like I pulled my first coin. What have we got? I see Lincoln on it. Oh, it's a memorial. All right, let's keep going. Well, there's my next target. Pretty old spoon handle. It's got some writing on the back. I don't know if that's hallmarks. Not sure if that's silver or not. I don't think so. But go we'll find. Let's move on. Well, yeah, just found the rest of that. I found the handle. Right next to it, I just found the fork. Pretty mangled up. Looks like it got hit by a lawnmower or something. All right, let's keep going. Well, this is right the road you go further up, actually. Old pump back here on the edge of the creek. Not sure if there was a house back in here at one time. There's a road that runs through right here, a small bridge. Of course, the road isn't here anymore, but I don't know, just poking around, seeing what's back here. Well, I came back in the trees here behind their barn and hit a signal. It's a matchbox car, a Ford Probe, so it's probably from the 80s. All right. See if we can find some mold here. All right, Scott just found an old coin. It's got an 1859 Indian head. That's a nice one too, nice patina on it. Out here in the middle of the field. Good job. Thank you. Beauty. That's a beauty. This is the property owner over talking to Ken. Got a lot of field here, but right in here is where Scott found the 1858 Indian. So 
everybody's kind of swarming this spot to see if there's anything else. This was the house. Uh, the original house, I think, was a log cabin. It was around 1850. Uh, this one's a little later than that. But there's definitely some history here. So. Nice high signal, about a 45 on the legend. And I feel roundness. Oh, what do we got? Uh oh. It's a dime. And I got to assume it's probably clad. But I don't know yet. Let me clean it up. I'll get back to you. Yeah, I checked that dime out. It was a 1986. It was a clad. All right, we'll keep looking. All right, a few feet from that last signal. I got another good one here. 45, 46. And it's looking pretty deep this time. Let's dig it up, see what we got. All right, we just pulled it, and it's a coin. What do we got? Yee! I'll get back to you, I can't see. They got barn cats all over the place here. Must be a dozen of them. Oh, there comes another one. Gotta be a dozen of them running around here.